Welcome back. You're watching Ashley Nasdaq. Today I'm back again and today I'm here to tell you all about what I've done today. And as I promised you, I'm going to take you through the photo shoot I did for my masks and the products are still here. The silk mask in black is here. We've rocked it and the silk mask in white is also here and we've been modeling it so for most of you who didn't know i do modeling work for myself i don't model for other companies i have never done that before but because we're in a crisis i had no choice but to be the model myself because i cannot afford hiring someone and it's too risky to bring someone in my environment because i'm quarantined and i have a high risk of infection so i cannot do that so the only way to do this to launch my product at my in my house and also sell it online is through doing the product shoots myself and also being the model as you can see we've done two uh we've done three looks actually three makeup looks and two hairstyle looks so um most of the hair style i had was this with two the two looks one was a metallic blue and another one was a, a metallic um uh, aqua green where i you i think it's the eyeshadow from dolce cabana and it's called the perfect cream which is the royal blue it's, it was um Actually, I bought it in a limited collection a few years ago, but I didn't open it. So this time it's a very good way to open it. So I buy so many things in limited edition and I don't open them because most of the things you have to use them within 12 months. And after 12 months, if you open them, they're already expired. So yeah, this is, I've never opened it. So this is the first time I'm opening it. So I have 12 months to use it and finish it. Otherwise I have to throw it away if I don't use it. <laughs> And I also use some eyeshadows from um, the wet and dry eyeshadows from the palette from uh, Yves Saint Laurent and those did the pink collection uh, where I had the scarf on my head as you could see and I had uh, the pink rocking eyeshadow rocking it here with a white scarf and a black scarf I did both of the scarves with that look I don't know which photos will look good but for the other look which I had was the metallic blue which I used the eye pencil which is in nine, color 900 I think the, yeah this uh, nine, uh, the Chanel eye pencil color 900 24 which i love it's still here i've used this eye pencil in so many looks and it's worth every penny i don't know why it looks good on my skin and also on camera when i'm putting it on it doesn't look good when you just rub it on your you know it doesn't look good but when you take a photo with it or go on camera with it it really really shines it just you know it just goes out there and it works with a lot of combinations of um eyeshadow so it's a good investment actually it's a proof eyeliner it's actually like eyeliner and uh, it's long lasting but i use it also to i put it as an eyeliner and i also rub it on as an eyeshadow and i also put a mixture so i use also use and laurent some some of this blue eyeshadow which i i think also i got in a limited edition and i also didn't use for some time this limited edition palette it's a very old one so you can see there is also a blue here and a green so i use that in the look i combined all these two so and then i also use the highlighter which i already love but yeah the tom ford highlighter which you all can see and i didn't put any uh powder or nothing i just let my skin moisturized and that's it and I don't know but I really think that the photos have turned out well and I can use some of them to promote my silk masks for sale or put them on the website so for most of you who have been here and looking at the launch and thinking oh we she going to do it yes we've done it and we've launched the silk mask as a product and we're going to launch more products on this website on this channel and I want you to follow me in my design studio and see how I design and launch these products and for most of you who are wondering Oh, how can I do that? Check out what this video on how to turn your hobby into a business. That's how I started with my brand and that's how I started uh, designing products. So I hope you uh, like what you see. And if you're new here, uh, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, 
thanks for the support keep watching and continue watching other videos on this channel there are so many things you can learn from me and there are so many things you can that will entertain you in my studio and all the other advice i give on business and online business and whatever you want and stay tuned for that video where i teach you all about building a risk-free business by yourself so that you don't have to depend on anyone else because I do all these things by myself I don't depend on anyone I don't depend on a cameraman I don't depend on an editor I don't depend on anyone because I know when I get sick I need to contain myself and if other people are coming into my environment they are bringing something in so you need to put some uh, strategies in place to help you mitigate the risk in when it comes to such crises so stay tuned for that video and see you soon continue watching all the videos on this channel and don't forget to like subscribe comment bye